primary is fast approaching, and as your local election headquarters, we're following all the races that impact you as Texoma residents. We continue our candidate profiles tonight in Wilbarger County, where two familiar faces are battling for a shot at sheriff. Markeisha Jackson sat down with both candidates and joins us now with more Markeisha. Yeah, Lauren incumbent Brian Fritz will face off against Bill Price, who was the sheriff Fritz unseated back in 2020. Price only losing to Fritz by seven votes that year. They say, though, they are looking forward to this election and another shot at serving their county. There is no shortage of experience between the two candidates running for Wilbarger County Sheriff. I was in law enforcement previously in the early 90s, and, and I'd been out for a long time and got back in. I did 22 years with uh, Wilbarger County first, and before that I did six and a half with the city of Vernon. A passion to serve their community isn't the only thing sheriff candidates Bill Price and incumbent Brian Fritz have in common. They both served as sheriff for this very county, even going up against each other in the last election when Price was unseated by Sheriff Fritz. Both say, though, that's all behind them as this upcoming election in the community is their main focus. I'm a working sheriff. I mean, I hit the ground running whenever I came in, and I will be right there side by side with my guys and gals working day in, day out. His opponent, Price, says he hopes to be elected so that he can continue the work he started in the county during his tenure back in 2017. Work like better maintaining the sheriff's office budget. When it pertains to staffing, budget, and overall better, you know, overall oversight of the tax dollars that the public are giving in. I felt like I was not through with my service to the community of Wilbarger County. Price also hopes to make improvements at the Wilbarger County Jail. Sheriff Fritz says he's proud of the work that's been done since he took over. We have a, a countywide patrol effort that we do and we cover a lot of our rural schools that we have out there. We have two rural schools. And continuing to keep crime down remains a central issue. Both candidates believe they have the knowledge and ability to train deputies to do just that. Uh, things that need to be looked into and then when I find those things and get it, I'm gonna rectify them and make it better for the county. The job that we're doing now, I would never ever want it to go back to the way that it was. And as these two prepare to face off this election, they want to remind residents to let their voices be heard, as only seven votes was the defining factor between the two back in 2020. Vote counts in a small community. As they both hope to earn your vote in March. Now the last day to register to vote is February 5th and early voting starts February 20th with that primary election taking place on March 5th. You can find much more info about those two candidates over on our website. Another one of several races yeah. is going to be very interesting yes. to see what happens in this race. Okay, Markeisha, thank you very much for taking us to Wilbarger County.